Right, it's start, time to start, I should have said, putting stuff back in the frame. Right, new drive belt. Just going to position it in there. I'll grab the gearbox. Right, position the gearbox. Right, I'm just going to put my strap on. Sounds a bit rude. Right, supported the gearbox. Um, next thing is I'll get the uh, the swing arm in. I'll pull that belt back a bit first. Yeah, I'll get it all a bit better positioned and then we'll feed the swing arm in, get it all lined up and uh, well, we'll go from there. Right, I'm going to position this up a bit better so I'll just knock it off for a minute and get the camera out of the way so I can get in at it properly. Back in a second. Right, I've got the box a bit uh, better lined up. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of the uh, swing arm rubbers in. Now, that notch there that you can see, this rubber is for this side. And this plate is off the other side. But if you see on the plate, there's a notch. And it's got the same notch as on this one here. And you've got to make sure that the notch in that rubber lines up and sits into that one on this side so I'll just put this one back on the other side in fact I'll do this from this side right just get your rubber fed up into your into the bracket as I say make sure you've got the the notch in the rubber to line up with the And I can see the bugger all in there, so I'm just going to get my torch. Right, that's in line. Right, so next thing is uh, grab the swing arm oh, yeah. feed the swing arm in the swing arm you've got a, a spacer you've got to put this side one in because uh, if you put the swing arm into place you'll not be able to put that in once 
once the swing arm's sitting where it should be. Now what I've done, you won't have been able to see off because I did it off camera, but I've put a strap around the, the back of the bike to hold the back end of the swing arm. And also you've got to remember to feed the swing arm through the belt as well. Otherwise, it won't. Uh, you won't be able to get it on your on your wheel. Right, I just need to manoeuvre this. Right, if you grab your pivot pin, uh, make sure you've lubed the uh, shaft up with some uh, anti-seize. I use uh, like a grease compound, but it's actually an anti-seize. So feed it through, give it a bit of a waggle. I'm just going to let the, uh, the swing the swing arm come free at the back because it can't actually fall off now, which allows me to manoeuvre it slightly. Right, and once you've got it through your, your spacer on this side, just line it up with the hole in the bracket. Drops up a bit.
Right. Now I've got that through the bracket. I'll just knock you off a minute and I'll position you in a better place. Right, you can just see the pivot pin just there. Um, what goes over the pivot pin first is there's a washer and as you can see it's sort of counterboard inside. So and that goes on that way, not on the floor, it actually goes on the shaft, on the pin. But the cutout in the in the spacer goes to the inside. And then you get your uh, your bolt. I'll just grab my Loctite. your bolt and you just put a bit of blue Loctite on just a little bit Right, on the other side of the pivot pin, if you get your put a, a, a socket on to hold it, and then you want to be torquing the bolt up on this side to 61 newton meters. So I'll just set my torque wrench. And grab that. Right, I'm just going to loosen that back off a touch. Right, what I'll do is I'll knock it off and I'll take it on the other side. Right, the reason I loosened that back off 
and brought you around here is while it's loose that moves now I had that set but when I've tightened it up it had turned I must have caught it well I was on the, the socket onto there but when it's tightened up you can't move that so I've loosened it off put that somewhere back in near where it should be and I'm going to put the plate back on this side so the notch as I was on about for the other side lines up with that bit there so just get it so it sits in that wasn't a bad guess Right, I've just put that one in lightly to start with because I want some Loctite on. Grab the Loctite. Grab the other bolt. Just put a little uh, dab of blue on. Same with this one, just a little dab of blue Loctite. I'll just grab my torque wrench. Right, these bolts here torque up to uh, fifty seven Newton meters. So, now that's on, back on and lined up properly, I'll knock it off a second and we'll go back to the other side and we'll tighten it all back up again. Right, I'll adjust the torque wrench back up to 61 newton metres. Spanner through, socket should I say. Right, once you've done that, just release your strap that you've got on the back of your swing arm, or that I've got on the back of mine should I say and then just move your swing arm up and down, make sure it's free so I'm happy with that let's get rid of this uh, strap that was on the back
think once you've uh, got to that stage, just push your uh, little chrome caps in on both sides. Right, so that's your uh, swing arm all in and what I'll do next is I'll probably put a bolt through one of the shocks just to hold the swing arm up um, and I'll have a think where I want to go next. Right, I'll knock you off for a minute. Right, I've put uh, just one bolt in one side of the bottom of the shock and I'll just nip it up, not mega tight. It's just to sort of hold the swing arm up. Right. So I'll knock it off again for a minute. Right, I've lifted the uh, engine out of its engine stand, uh, I've removed the filter backing plate and uh, now we're going to lift it into the frame. And I'm giving you the view from this side because when I put it in from the other side I, when I'll block the view if I have the camera on the other side. So, I'll go around. Um, the wires off the crank sensor and the stator, you'll see when I start putting it through, you'll see I've got them on the end of the pin, not the pinion shaft, the uh, sprocket shaft, uh, and just held in place with some elastic bands. And it's just so they don't waggle about and get caught when you're manoeuvring the engine in position. I've covered the brake line uh, and the wires with uh, just a rag. So when you lift it in, you've just got to be careful that you clear everything, make sure you don't hit your master cylinder for your rear brake. Uh, watch the top as you're going in to make sure you don't hit the top. Right, so we'll get it in place. So just carefully lower it down, I'll say make sure you're not sitting it onto any of your, keep the pressure on your hands, manoeuvre it in and then line your, your locating dowels up on the bottom of your gearbox. Make sure the front end's obviously sat on its stand, on its uh, bracket, mounting bracket. And as you'll notice there, it's it's a very bugger. Right, I'll just lift that back up again. Right, I'll keep the. As you see there, I caught the, the front mounting bracket just further down on the front of the engine. So, what I'll do now is I'll, uh, I'll knock you off and I'll bring you back around this side. Right, what we're going to do now is put the uh, gearbox to engine mounts in, uh, bolts in. 
I uh, just want a bit of blue Loctite on these. Right, so get it in to position and start winding it in. The same with the bottom one, bit of blue Loctite on. And then get that into position. Into position, start screwing it in is what I meant. Right, it uh, the other side's the same. Um, when you'll have seen there, when I was putting the engine in, when I moved the front, it slipped off its uh, locating dowels and dropped. But it didn't drop on, didn't do any, didn't catch anything, should I say. Um, didn't catch the brake pipe or anything, it just sat down onto the top of that clip be, be, purely because the top end was leaning against the the gearbox which stopped it going too far. So you've got to be careful when you're doing, putting your engine in, that if, it, if you do what I did and it slips off, if it's like if it's got the room to drop and it drops on your wires or your brake pipe it could do some damage I was lucky and got away with that but uh, right I'll just knock you off for a minute I'll put the other two side the other side two bolts in and then I'll come back right I've got the uh the four bolts in and just nipped up finger tight. So the next step is to get the two mounting bolts in the front. Just set them in place. That one's just dropped straight in. Might need to give you a mount a wiggle. Need to lift them off slightly at the front. Get that uh, to line up. That's it. Right, once you've got them on, just get your uh, your nuts on the bottom. Let's see if I can reach in here without disturbing the camera. Right, when you get to that point, obviously you want to nip, nip them front ones up. I don't tighten them up straight away. Uh, I'll get them like nipped up so that the gap's closed up. And uh, basically what I do then is I get the head steady on uh, and get the mounting on the top end. And then everything's sort of in line and then tighten everything up. So, I'll knock you off for a minute and I'll come back. <laughs> 